as well thy other accents borrow than can my speech diffuse. My good intent may carry through itself to that foolish you for which I raised my likeness. How now? What art thou? What dost thou profess? A man, sir, I do profess to be no less than I seem, to serve him truly that would put me in trust. Who wouldst thou serve? You. Dost thou know me, fellow? No, sir, but you have that in your countenance which I would fain call master. Follow me. Thou shalt serve me. You, uh, you, Sira, where's my daughter? Your daughter is not well. Who am I, sir? My lady's father. My lady's father? And my lord's name, you horse and dog, you slave, you cur. I'm not instructed, my lord. Nor tripped, neither. I thank thee, fellow. Thou servest me, and I love thee. Come, sir, arise, away. Now, my friendly knave, there's earnest of thy service. that front lid on. Suspend thy purpose if thou didst intend to make this creature fruitful. Into her womb convey sterility. If she must teem, create her child of spleen, that it may live and be a thwart disnatured torment to her. Let it stamp wrinkles in her brow of youth, that she may feel how sharper than a serpent's tooth it is to have a thankless child. I am ashamed that thou hast the power to shake my manhood thus, that these hot tears which break from thee perforce should make thee worth them. Cold, fond eyes, 
the wheat you this calls again, I'll pluck you out and cast you with the waters you loose to temper clay. I have another daughter who I am sure is kind and comfortable. When she shall hear this of thee, with her nails she'll flay thy wolfish visions. Tell 